Jimmy Armijo Grover here with Gallatin River Guides in beautiful Big Sky, Montana. Today we're going to be tying the Purple Haze Cripple. This version is probably most um, similar to uh, Walter Weese's uh, Hazy Cripple, Purple Hazy Cripple. Um, a great attractor pattern that we fish um, really any time of year where uh, dry flies um, are a possibility and really like it in the 14 to 18 range. Um, is a great betas pattern as well um, in spring and fall. Just going to get my thread started uh, at the eye of the hook um, and then we're going to grab our sparkle emerger yarn or zelon yarn in a, in a brown color. You could also use an amber color um, for this as well. Strap that in and then we're uh, see how I'm just shortening that up versus trimming it and then uh, wrapping our thread all the way back to the rear um, to the bend of the hook. And then we're going to trim that trailing shuck off. Um, I like it to be the length of the shank or maybe even a little bit shorter. Um, still going to trim off some of that sparkle yarn a little bit. Um, next we're going to attach some purple flex floss or sexy legs, um, whatever brand you, you prefer. Um, they, they all have a slightly different color as well and some of them actually give you a different looking segmentation. Um, and then we're just going to wrap that forward with touching wraps and you notice that I've left about two eye lengths of space behind the eye. That's going to give us space for the hackle and the wing to be tied in. So once I get to my thread, I'm just going to secure that with a couple wraps of thread and trim that off clean. Then we're going to grab some polypropylene wing material. We're using a pair of post wing here. Um, you can use widow's web, whatever, whatever poly um, crinkly wing material you have. Um, white's obviously a, a great color um, for this. And then we're attaching it right at the eye. And then I'm taking um, a few thread wraps back towards the body and then creating a smooth base for our hackle with a thread. I'm going to trim off the back end of that wing. Notice we leave a little butt there. Um, this just kind of helps keep that wing um, from pulling out at any point while you're fishing it. Um, and I have selected a single grizzly hackle. This is where um, some, some tires will use a brown hackle. I like grizzly. Some will use the grizzly and brown. It's really a preference thing. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Wheezy's um, hazy cripple is both um, grizzly and brown so this might be one of the biggest differences between um, his. And just make sure those uh, fibers are going the right direction. Sometimes you can strip off a, a little bit of your hackle so that first turn is just bare stem and then you'll get fewer stray hackles like, like you see on mine but um, I don't get too concerned about that. Um, some of those will kind of straighten up as I as I play with it a little bit, and certainly the fish aren't going to mind. Um, tied that off behind the wing, and then now I'm going to whip finish in front of the wing, and that'll help prop that wing up and make it easier to tie your tippet to the eye of the hook. And then you can trim off both the thread and the hackle. Another step, additional step, is uh, trimming off. You could trim off the hackle on the bottom of the fly, so the fly sits um, uh, a little lower in, in the film. Um, I like to keep mine a little bit more buoyant because I do often fish them in, in heavier water, so I do not trim that. And that the back end of the body still sits pretty low in the surface film as is. Um, there it is. Enjoy, and I uh, hope you catch many fish on it.